So we are doing this a little bit differently today. Instead of walking you through it from the beginning till the end, I'm actually gonna start in the middle. We're gonna start with the painting part for our Ted Harrison inspired landscapes. And we're working especially with changing the value of our colors. And of course the value is how light or how dark um, the color is. And we're going to be creating tints specifically today. A tint is any color plus white. Okay, any color plus white is a tint, okay? So we are going to attempt, let's see, to make some different tints here. So I'm gonna start, first of all, with a really clean brush, okay? I'm just dipping it in, kind of scooping it up. You guys are gonna be using flat brushes too. And putting some on my tray, okay? Now, I'm not gonna worry about my brush being too clean. Let's see if I can do this without contaminating my paint. I'm just gonna dip it in. You can see I got a little white in there, not too much. Okay, now by, again, by mixing it with, with white, I'm creating a different tint, okay? Now, I could, if I wanted to, just paint all of these sections, paint this one blue and this one turquoise and this one a different, a different color too if I wanted to, but I am going to try to change the value of each one. So I'm gonna go through and I'm following right next to my line that I've created, but I wanna see my line, okay? And now I'm gonna do it again, but this time I'm gonna put more white on my brush, okay? That's all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do another stripe right underneath. Okay. And again, you can see it's just a slightly different tint. And I'm gonna do it one last time again by picking up more white. Okay, I kind of like how that looks. Now, instead of going right into my water to clean off my brush, okay, I'm going to again try to unload it both onto my paint tray. I might use some of that color here in a little bit. I think I'm going to do turquoise next. Okay, I'm also, I can use my painting mat, okay, and a paper towel here. I want my paintbrush to be really dry here. So now, let me see, I'm gonna clean it off really well, okay, by tapping it in the bottom, and I'm tapping it pretty firmly of the water, okay, and again, drying it off. <clears throat> I want my paintbrush dry. So I'm gonna do this again now with some turquoise. Okay, same process. I'm going to put it right over here. You notice, look how much white I still have on there, okay? but I don't have a ton of blue. I'm not going to be wasting any paint here. What I'm not doing is mixing up a ton of paint all over my surface here, okay? So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of white. Again, my brush is pretty dry, okay? So I've got some of that turquoise color and some white. Now, because I have a lot of paint here and I have, this is a very small section, I actually want, think I wanna do turquoise on this one. I'm gonna come back here, and you can see I've got, a, picking up, I've got some turquoise and some white and a little bit of blue, okay? Kinda of like how that looks, and again, I'm just gonna pick up some white on my brush and do it again. Another stripe of color right underneath. Okay, and I like being able to see my brush strokes. And again, last time, probably. Okay, some white. And I think I'm just gonna fill in down to the bottom here with that color. Okay. Again, you can see how my color is changing. You can see how the value of my color is changing from dark to light, okay? From dark to light the value is changing. Same here, from dark to light. Okay. Now, again, cleaning off my brush and drying it. Okay, I think I might do one more little thing of blue, this time with a little bit less white. Okay, maybe even pick up a little bit of that green I have here. That was probably too much green. You can see that 
There's a lot of paint still sitting on my tray. I would love for you guys when you're painting not to have paint sitting on your tray at all. You can even share your trays with a neighbor, okay? So we're not wasting paint. Okay, paint this section in here. One thing I'm still trying to figure out doing is, or how to do is I like how you can see the lines in between Ted Harrison's sections. I don't know if we might even come back in and paint those in. That's one thing that I like. And you can see I'm having a hard time. My line, my oil pastel line is pretty soft here. And my paint line is pretty hard. Okay. So I'm just gonna cover those up because I don't actually like how that looks to see them exposed. Okay. Changing the rules as we go. You can feel free to do it differently. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with my water here in the back. I think I'm gonna do that a shade of yellow. And then with my icebergs and with my sky. But I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up so that you guys can get to your art faster. I wanted to show you what's happening here at the end. You can see I've gotten some light colors and I wanted to put in some dark here at the end. Um, because I've got different colors here on my tray that I'm picking up, and because then I'm not mix stirring it up, I'm just keeping them on my brush, it's kind of giving my, me some nice stripes over there. There are some strips of color which I quite like. So when you're try, if you're trying to do that, you kind of want to have different colors there on your brush. You can see a little bit of yellow there. Okay. Okay. So I quite like how it looks when, again, you don't totally mix it. So, our Ted Harrison inspired landscapes. You can see we've got some different values going on here. Okay, some different tints that we've created by adding some yellow or adding white. We're not creating any shades today. Shade would be created with by adding black. We're only adding white. Okay, that way we can control it a little bit. Um, you can go kind of as as abstract as you would like. Um, you can keep it as simple as you would like. You can see I vaguely have foreground, middle ground, and background. Okay, on mine. Um, and I will talk about that in just a second when we talk about our drawing. But that's how you get to the end part. So I'm ready to draw my landscape again for you. And I'm just going to move this guy out of the way. And I think this time, so this one I did in portrait. This time I'm going to work in landscape. So there's a couple of things. Okay, first of all, again, landscape, when we're drawing a landscape you want, uh, foreground, middle ground, and background. One thing I'm going to do, let me see, just flat out, I think I'm going to start and just drawing kind of a line here to represent the water. Okay, the water of course is flat. Then I can draw some hills in the foreground here and maybe even some mountains in the background, but that way at least I have, I have that done. Okay, now Again, just going to draw some rolling hill shapes here in the front. Jagged lines, big graph over here. Okay, and now in the background, I'm going to make them a little bit more gentle. Let's see. Maybe I'll just do a round sun this time. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, even I could, because you can see with my paintings here, my paintings are quite busy. Okay. There's a lot going on. Okay. So, if 
I kept on trying to do these paintings in the style, I would probably experiment a little bit with some different shapes here. Okay, but let's see. If you want to, you can even kind of draw some rays up from the side. Again, very abstract. Okay. I'm going down. Okay, going around. Okay, the point is not to really try to make anything be too, too realistic. But again, okay, I've got a foreground here, I've got a middle ground, and then a background here. One thing you may want to keep or may want to try in your landscape is that when you're looking at, off in the distance at a landscape, it does tend to fade. Your colors do tend to fade as you're looking out, okay? So that's something I kind of was thinking about when I did this one, but not too much, okay? So, again, foreground, middle ground, background. We are concentrating on changing the value of a color by adding white to it. We're creating tints of these colors, okay?